Yeah. A couple of these posts are quite old, right? I say old as in they were last week, so a little bit of old news, but not in my opinion. One of my favorite posts this week was from Todd Cleaver. Now, if you don't know who Todd Cleaver is, he is an Adonis, one of the best looking guys I've ever seen. I uh, saw him up close and personal in Hong Kong, played a charity match with him, so obviously I had to change with him in the change room before. Absolutely shredded. Now, I don't know whether he's been sunbathing naked, but the tan was basically from top to bottom. I've never seen anything like it. There was no tan lines. Shredded, long hair, looks like a WWE, WWF wrestler, Hollywood star. Anyway, he's posted, anyway, before I stop fanboying him, he posted a video on his Instagram page. It was hilarious. Basically surfing down a slide that clearly doesn't need to be surfed on and then flies off the end, absolutely stacks it and falls 100 meters into a pool. He's asked me to go and do it with him. Absolutely no chance. Todd Cleaver, you look like a legend. You are a legend. And that is legendary. So that would have been post of the week until I saw Leicester Tigers post a horrendous picture of good friend of the podcast. He might be a good friend of this show soon, Ellis Genge. Now, I've never seen, I don't know what the hair style is meant to be. It's like an orange, ginger, cauliflower mop top. I don't even, I've never seen hair like it in my life, but I don't want to pass judgment because it's only a picture. I need to see it live. I need to see him face to face. And I say, look at him in the eye, ask him what he's doing. He's quite a scary character. So I'll probably just look him in the eye and then pass judgment and then come back here next week and tell you actually how bad it is. But he's not going to get post of the week or Leicester Tigers aren't going to get it. The post of the week for me is Andy Powell. What an absolute legend of a bloke. And if you don't know Andy Powell's story now, he's now retired, as we know. He's bringing out a book, Life in the Fast Lane. Get it? Life in the Fast Lane. You get that? Very fast lane in his yeah. terms. In his yeah. golf buggy. Yeah, fast lane. Um, and talking of fast lanes... He's been in the fast lane this week with his team from Brecon, who won the Welsh Conference Championship thingy, make jiggy under the radar, and they won it anyway. I sent them a message pre-match. Pauli texted me and said, can you tweet us a, a video? So I sent them a video, inspired the team. They had a close fought game. I don't know who it was, but the post of the week goes to him because he has taken his team through the town of Brecon on a tractor. So this is what he said. He tweeted, he said, just to let everyone know, especially our supporters, we've got a tractor and a trailer. And they're going through Brecon this afternoon around two or three o'clock. We don't do open top buses. We do it proper farmer style. Now we are touring. Andy Powell, you are an absolute legend. You're a hero. And I tell you what, it's great that a player like him is going back to where it all started. And he's had a few ups and downs in his careers. He's had a few kind of downs in terms of off the pitch as well, but he's brought Brecon back from the death. I don't know if they were at the death, but let's just say they were, and they've now won their championship, and they are driving through the bloody town on a tractor. It don't get much better. So the post of the week goes to Andy Powell and the team at Brecon and the people who lent you that tractor. Obviously, that's the winner, but a potential uh, contender for post of the week, the, the shade Glasgow sent to Edinburgh. No, I haven't, no. Can well, you they, show me? They took it down. This is, this is what they put. So this is from the Glasgow Warriors official Twitter yeah. Twitter page. No way. These are for you, big bro, at Edinburgh Rugby. And there's, is that the 1872 Cup? Anyway, don't worry about the cup in between. There is a tour guide to Romania and to Russia. That is absolutely priceless. And they've taken that down. They took it down pretty sharpish, yeah. Re hey. You can't, hey, once it's up there, you screen grab it. John, Rob, shows it to me, and we talk about that. How funny is that? I actually commentated on the Glasgow Edinburgh game, uh, 1872 Cup, not that that mattered, and they absolutely smashed them off the park, and that is absolutely hilarious. You know why? Because it's true. Like, I mean, I've been to Romania once, never been to Russia, so if I go to Russia, I'm going to need a tour guide on that. I imagine most of the Edinburgh lads haven't been to Russia either. I can't see why they would. And they've had to take that down. Why do they need to take that down? That banter is quality. Business end of the season. Glasgow have done the job. Edinburgh, I mean, hashtag always, hashtag not always now because you go from having the season they were having in the quarterfinal against Munster, last play of the game, Munster win, semi-final, Edinburgh, go down. Anyway, Glasgow, I like that. I'd put that back up if I was them. 
That could have been post the week, but I'm going for Andy Powell still. So post the week is still Andy Powell, slowly followed by the Glasgow Warriors post that was then taken down. It's hilarious.